Education is said to be the bedrock of any society. Bauchi, like many states in northern Nigeria, has had its unfair share of educational disability at all levels. According to UNICEF, out of the 10.5 million out-of-school children in Nigeria, 6.5 million are found in northern Nigeria. For any meaningful development to be achieved in any civilized society, education ought to be given the top priority. But unfortunately, when Governor Mohammed Abdullah Bakar came on board, he made education sector in a very, very sore situation. To provide qualitative basic education in the state, the state government, despite a tough financial climate, sourced 50% of the counterpart funds for the 2014 and 2015 UBEC matching grants, the first in the history of the state. On secondary school education, which is the basis, it is a common fact that even in the cities like the state capital here in Bochi, you see the SS students who are supposed to be writing exams, they are sitting under the floor, taking lectures, taking teachings, taking all the instructional what you take on. And therefore, the governor, to the Bochi State Universal Basic Education Board, that is the super, had to intervene immediately first by paying the counterfeit funding of over 600 million. With this reality staring it in the face, the Bauchi state government under the leadership of Governor Mohammed Abdullahi Abubakar is on the mission to reverse this trend. When we took over immediately, even before I was sworn in after we won election, I immediately prepared certain bills to be tabled before the House of Assembly of Bauchi State. To further place a premium on the sector, the state has allocated over 20% of its annual budget to education for two years in a row. You have to understand the mindset of His Excellency. To him, education is everything. And for obvious reasons, you know, education brings about social mobility. In addition to that, there has been widespread construction and rehabilitation of classroom blocks all over the state. The contracts were advertised, bidding were made for public, and only qualified contractors were given the opportunity to construct over 800 new classrooms across the three senatorial district. Renovation of over 800 dilapidated primary and junior secondary school structures across Bochi State and over 18,000 different uh, seating materials as chairs, table and what have you were awarded and it is also a fact that can be verified by any concerned citizen of this country. The quality of job is amazing. We are very happy to have His Excellency as the governor of the state because of tremendous achievement recorded within the shortest possible time in his administration. The economic recession of 2016 and 17 in the country led to over 1 million students at all levels dropping out of school. Many families were no longer able to afford sending their children to school and those already in school faced the risk of dropping out. In October 2016, Governor M. A. Abubakar went over and beyond to ensure that 166.9 million naira was approved as government's bursary. To say the least, uh, education was uh, in shutters when uh, we assumed office. The physical structures, were, were, were an eyesore. Uh, the uh, state of uh, the teachers in terms of their training and their welfare uh, was also neglected a great deal. For that reason, I needed to get education right. Not done yet, the state keyed into and implemented the federal government-led school feeding program. This move saw enrollment rates in primary schools steadily increase. 
this is the first time in the history of Bocho to my knowledge that government pays WAIC registration in total before the release of the exams. Hitherto, previous government do pay partially, but this government pays in full. When we came on board in uh, 2015, the percentage of success in WAIC and NECO was a dismal 3.5%. Uh, by 2016, it rose to 17.6, and this year it is 27%. So it appears as if we are on the right path. Politicians are concerned about the next election all the time. But my governor is concerned about the next generation, and that's why he's making a lot of investment in education. I'm one of the beneficiary of a teacher training in Bauchi State because about 50 of us were sent to Kaduna for training, the training program at NTI. And when we come back to Bauchi, we were segmented, the centers divided into eight, where we stepped down this training to teachers of primary, junior, and secondary schools. As at 2015, when the current administration came into office, the state's polytechnic had only a handful of accredited courses. I think the present administration have uh, assisted this polytechnic in almost all aspects of educational uh, endeavors. Uh, when the administration came on board, the polytechnic was almost at ground zero. Fast forward two years, and the Abu Bakr Tatari Ali Polytechnic now stands tall with over 95% of all its courses fully accredited. When they came on board, we only have only one course with accreditation, that was computer science. But today, we can proudly say that about 95% of all the courses we have in Abu Bakr Tatal Polytechnic were accredited. Putting some extra icing on the cake, approval has also been secured for commencement of eight technical and vocational degree courses in affiliation with the Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University, Bauchi. We have about 34 HND courses and then we have additional 19 NC courses that were also uh, given accreditation in Abu Bakr Tatal Polytechnic. We have also, during uh, this administration, we have also started degree program in eight technical and vocational courses. My name is Hussein Awal Idris from the Department of Geological Technology, Abu Bakr Tatal Polytechnic, Bauchi. Before of his administration, this school is looking like a bush. The governor is trying his best in order to make our life better. Some classes were built, some classes were renovated, and our rocks are under construction. When they came on board, the first issue they tackled was the issue of dilapidated student hostel and classrooms. All the hostels that we have were renovated, electricity restored, portable drinking water also restored and then immediately they move to classrooms. They provide additional classrooms and furnitures. They renovated workshops. They provided workshop equipment and laboratories. This is just to tell you that Gomne Emi Abubakar is more concerned about the future of the young ones. And the only way you can bridge the gap between develop and underdeveloping economy is by providing access, quality, affordable education to the citizenry. To express their deep-seated appreciation to Governor M. A. Abubakar, students from all tertiary institutions in the state recently came out en masse to show their solidarity to the state governor for his continued support to the educational sector. The greatest Nigerian student, yeah. I want to say, yeah. I want to hear, yeah. I want to affirm, affirm. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Bochi State, mm. Muhammad Abdullah Abubakar Square. My name is Comrade Timo Omar, I'm the Vice President, National oh, Affairs of the National Assembly. I want to, on behalf of the Federal Republic of Nigeria students, thank you for what you have been doing for student constituency. Uh, the National Assembly of Nigeria students uh, expresses confidence to your commitment. Yes, Nigeria students! Yeah. I want to hear! Yeah. I want to affirm! I want to speak! speak. Thank you very much! In the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world.
Surely and truly, change has come to Baoji State. <laughs>